John posted this message on TikTok about my video where I show you how to destroy a Linux system with a single command, being trying Ubuntu on a VM. Broke it twice in 24 hour, lots of fun, the 100% recommended. Now what I recommend if you're new to Linux is run it in a virtual machine. So in this example, I'm running it within VMware Workstation. So you can see I've got a bunch of VMs here. What I also recommend that you do is create a snapshot so that if you destroy your system or do something wrong, you can revert back to your snapshot. So in this example, what I'll do is run the command to destroy the system. So I'll run the command I demonstrated in that video. Notice here we can see some folders. Notice what happens when I run the command, folders are simply destroyed. So this destroys my entire system as demonstrated previously. Directories and files are gonna be wiped out with this command. So you can see icons are disappearing. We're getting a blue screen here. If I try and navigate to root, you can see stuff is not looking very good. Blue screen of death here. But if I've got a snapshot, I can revert to that snapshot. So I'll use this one. So I'll select use this one for RM. So yes, that takes me back to the exact place I was before. You can snapshot a running VM or a VM that shut down. If it's running, it's gonna take more disk space. So be careful doing that. But notice I could go to my snapshot manager and I have created various snapshots here. Now this is not necessarily a great example. Now what's nice here is I could go back in time. So I could go to new install as an example and go to that snapshot. I'm not gonna save the current snapshot. I'm gonna simply jump to new install and notice that's what happens. System at this point was shut down. So I have to power it back on again, but it allows me to create different paths in my snapshots and do different things. So depending on what software is installed, I could jump around. So on this Kali Linux snapshot, I've got a new install. I have a snapshot with Squid installed. Then I created Onyx without Squid installed. So I went straight from new install to Onyx as an example. So the moral of the story is snapshots are really powerful. They allow you to save your system so that if you break something or something goes wrong, you can revert back to the snapshot. Or if you wanna test software and then revert back to a situation without that software installed, you can do that. Get used to using virtual machines and snapshots, they will really save you a lot of time and help you to learn Linux.